Siaya County are set to undergo training by the end of this year in a bid to improve road safety. The border border mode of transport has been categorized as a leading killer in our roads due to lack of a policy guideline, bill or law to govern the sector, which has made it difficult to regulate. <laughs> Data by the National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSC, shows that motorcycles have retained an infamous record as the highest rising cause of death on Kenyan roads, despite ongoing campaigns to end this trend. The tendency has seen the Youth Progressive Association of Sierra County develop a system to help in sensitization program and streamlining of border border riders in the county. According to the youth chairman Moses Agogo, the adapted system will help bring sanity back to border border sector. The operators have however decried that the menace of accident is not the only challenge they face as motorists. We are developing an application which we have already that you only need to put the uh, number plate of a rider and you will know all the details, the name, the stage and even where the, the center they operate on, the ward level, even up to the constituency. The association initiated back in 2018 has made major strides in the border border sector. On the 30th of this month, 2019, the association will hold its first event in Rarieda to sensitize riders on safe drive campaign and launch a system whereby all riders will be required to have a specific riding jacket with a circle mark and short code text for sending messages in case in danger or when the passenger is in danger. I.e. you can have someone's motorbike, actually it can be stolen, then you will be ready to pay for that motorbike. The border border sector, it is an employment sector that is covering both the, 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 the literate and uh, the uh, illiterate, yes, because in Kenya the issue of uh, unemployment is rampant. Jamaki Boy, KUTV.